Now and then, I've been guilty of the crime of feeding people food to my Dogo Argentino. It's so tough to resist those adorable faces, especially when they're sitting politely, avoiding all eye contact. But did you know there's a ton of ordinary everyday foods that are harmless to humans, but that you really shouldn't give your Dogos? Well, in today's episode, we're going to look into some of the hidden dangers lurking inside your pantry so you don't give your best friend something toxic without knowing it. But before we jump right in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you and your Dogo Argentino won't miss any of our updates. Number 10. Xylitol this sugar alcohol is found in a variety of foods that are human safe, yet highly toxic to Dogo Argentinos. You can find this ingredient in everything from toothpaste to peanut butter, baked goods, gum, diet foods, and candy. A single stick of chewing gum contains enough xylitol to kill a 10 pound baby puppy. It can cause your dog's blood sugar to drop and can also cause liver failure. Early symptoms include vomiting, lethargy, and coordination problems. Eventually, your dog may have seizures, and liver failure can happen within just a few days. Number nine, raisins, grapes, and grape juice. The exact Dogo Argentino toxic substance is unknown in raisins, grapes, and grape juice, yet should be avoided as it can cause kidney failure. Vomiting, lethargy, and diarrhea can occur within 12 hours of ingestion. If the symptoms are not treated, they can lead to dehydration, decreased appetite, and increased urination followed by decreased urination. If your dogo has consumed grapes or raisins and these signs occur, Take her or him to a veterinarian immediately. Your dog can develop long-term kidney disease or even die from kidney failure within three or four days. Number eight. While many fruits are completely safe for pets, the vast majority of the bark, skin, pits, and leaves are not. Interestingly, many fruit stems and seeds contain highly toxic compounds such as cyanide that our pets metabolize very quickly. Make sure to only give the flesh of the fruit and remove all seeds, stems, leaves, pits, and cores. This includes parts from apples, apricots, avocado, skin, pits and leaves, cherry pits, peach pits, tomato stems and leaves, rhubarb leaves, and even potato stems and leaves. Number seven, high salt foods. From potato chips to bacon, humans love high salt snacks, yet large amounts of salt are highly toxic to dogos. Common culprits include seawater, play-doh, soy sauce, table salt, and salty chips. Salt poisoning can occur if your dog ingests a large amount of salt in a short period of time. The effects are worse if the dog doesn't have access to fresh water. Symptoms range from gastrointestinal to neurological. These can include thirst, vomiting, diarrhea, tremors, seizures, and convulsions. In extreme cases, salt poisoning can lead to kidney damage and even death. Number six, cooked bones. While raw bones are very nutritious and a vital part of a raw diet, cooked bones can be deadly to Dogo Argentino dogs. When it comes to bones, the danger is that cooked bones can easily splinter when chewed by your dog. Raw uncooked bones are appropriate, suitable, and excellent for your dog's nutrition and teeth. Number five, corn on the cob. While small amounts of corn are safe for your dog to ingest, giving your dog an ear of corn can be dangerous. If your dog is determined enough 
and so many Dogo Argentinos are, that it will eat the entire cob and all. The cob itself can be a choking hazard and can cause intestinal blockage. This could be fatal to your Dogo Argentino or result in an extremely dangerous surgery. Side note, when the puppy I bred named Jubilee went to her brand new home, she found a corn cob there and ate it, which resulted in her needing surgery to remove part of her intestines due to the damage the corn cob caused her. Unfortunately, this effectively gave her a gastric bypass, which rendered her extremely small and undersized due to the restrictive nutritional absorption of missing part of her intestine. Number four, chocolate contains theobromine, which speeds the heart rate and stimulates the nervous system. Depending on the type of chocolate, the amount your dog ingested and your dog's weight will determine how sick your dog may become. Ingesting too much theobromine in chocolate can result in vomiting, diarrhea, restlessness, increased urination, tremors, elevated heart rate, seizures, and death. From the most dangerous to the least dangerous chocolate Dogo Argentino dogs, the most dangerous is cocoa powder, followed by unsweetened baker's chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and the least dangerous is white chocolate. Number three, caffeine. Humans love their caffeine from coffee, tea, cola, and energy drinks. Nothing beats a caffeine boost. Unfortunately for Dogo Argentinos, caffeine can be toxic. These products all contain substances called methylxanthines. When ingested by pets, methylxanthines can cause vomiting and diarrhea, panting, restlessness, excessive thirst, and urination, hyperactivity, abnormal heart rhythm, tremors, seizures, elevated blood pressure, and even death. Note that chocolate products can also contain caffeine and methyl xanthines. Number two, alcohol. Humans love their alcoholic beverages and over a thousand years of consuming them, we have developed the enzymes needed to break down their toxicity when imbued in moderation. Dogs cannot, so alcoholic beverages and food products containing alcohol can cause vomiting, diarrhea, decreased coordination, central nervous system depression, difficulty breathing, tremors, abnormal blood acidity, coma, and even death. Under no circumstances should your Dogo Argentino be given any alcohol. If you suspect that your pet has ingested alcohol, immediately contact your veterinarian. Number one, onions, garlic, leeks, shallots, chives, which include onion powders, dehydrates, and pastes. Often used in human dishes, these veggies are bad news for your big white beasts. Eating these vegetables and herbs contain propyl disulfide, which can cause stomach and gut irritation and potentially lead to red blood cell damage and anemia. Onions are particularly toxic and signs of poisoning often only occur after a few days once your dog has eaten the vegetable. All forms of onion can be a problem, including dehydrated onion, raw onion, cooked onion, and table scraps containing cooked onion or garlic. Dishes like leftover pizza, Chinese food, baby food, supplements, and similar can cause illness. Many prepared food, especially takeaway food, sauces, and gravy contain onion or garlic powder or both. All these pungent veggies are part of the ileum family and can injure red blood cells in Dogo Argentinos, meaning they make the dog anemic. Dogs can get hemolytic anemia, which requires a hospital trip. Complicating matters, it can take days before the anemia is revealed, 
making the cause of the illness more difficult and expensive to pinpoint. If you have found this helpful to you and your Dogo Argentino dog, we encourage you to give us a like. Have a Dogotastic day! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I said my ABCs. Happy day. That goes out to me.